Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we shall see question from June 2015 consisting of 4.75 marks. The question includes irreducible polynomials and we need to check whether these polynomials are irreducible over the ring of integers, ring of polynomials, right? Having coefficients in integer in one variable. So we are given these four options and out of these we need to test which among these polynomials are irreducible right so we have several tests to check the irreducibility so uh, for the first polynomial this is our polynomial so and its degree is equal to 2 so uh, what test we can apply we can either look for a root right we can either look for a root of this polynomial in z because uh, if you have, if you find, if, if you found any root for this polynomial, which is of degree two or either of degree three, then we clearly say, say that that polynomial is reducible and not irreducible, right? But uh, we have another test known as Eisenstein's criteria. It says that if we have any polynomial, right, uh, of this kind, have which have coefficient in integers. In that case, if we find a prime number p such that this, the square of this prime number does not divide the coefficient to, uh, factor, right? And it divides all the factors from a0 to a n minus 1 except this last one. Then we say that the polynomial is irreducible over q, right? So our polynomial could be written like this, minus 5 plus 0x plus 1 into x square. So now the prime is 5. If we take p to be 5, in that case p square that is 25, it does not divide the constant term, right? 25 does not divide minus 5, then 5 divide 5 minus 5, right? Because our a naught is minus 5, so 5 divides minus 5, then 5 divides 0, yes true, then 5 does not divide 1. This is also true. So all the conditions are satisfied. Therefore, by Eisenstein's criteria, the given polynomial is irreducible over Q. But wait a minute. In the question, they are asking, are they irreducible over Zx? Right? The uh, integer ring of polynomials. So we have another result saying that whenever we have irreducibility over Q, it implies irreducibility over Z because here you have some larger set q right and you have a polynomial here whose coefficients belong to this set right you have some polynomial f of x here so now if you cannot factor this polynomial here with much larger number of uh, elements present so how can you uh, factor that polynomial over here in some other set which which is the set of integers right so if a polynomial is irreducible over here it should also be irreducible in the smaller set that is that of integers therefore irreducibility over q does not imply irreducibility over z in that case sorry it implies irreducibility over z in that case we say that fx is irreducible over z so therefore our option a is correct option this polynomial is irre irreducible right so next look at uh, this polynomial so now this is of degree 4 right so we uh, cannot apply that result uh, which is the if and only if result for polynomials with degree 2 and 3 so in this case what we do we have f of x we replace this x with x minus 1 and we call this new polynomial as g of x right so now if this polynomial is irreducible it implies that this polynomial is also irreducible we can do that there is no problem doing this so uh, what we have done we have defined gx as this so we have just replaced this x where wherever this x is appearing we just replace this by x minus 1 so we have this thing so this one cancels with one in every term, right? So we are left only with one plus x plus x square plus x cube plus x raised to power four. Now this polynomial is irreducible over q. Why? Because there is a result saying that 
the polynomial of this kind 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube plus up to x raised to power p minus 1 is irreducible if the number p is a prime number. So now we have powers up to 4 that means the prime that we are talking p is 5 and we know all know 5 is prime therefore this result is applicable therefore gx is irreducible over q. Now by the above result if g uh, saying gx is irreducible over q it implies fx is irreducible over q as well right so uh, we have fx irreducible over z moreover by the previous result irreducibility over q implies irreducibility over z therefore the given polynomial fx is irreducible over zx right therefore this option is also correct right so uh, let us move on to third option what is the third we have just check that this polynomial is irreducible because the corresponding prime p is equal to 5 this number is a prime number therefore this is irreducible over q and irreducibility over q implies over z therefore this is also irreducible right you can see it here So this is, was the polynomial. So by the same result, we can say that this polynomial is also irreducible over z, right? Therefore, option C is correct. Next, move on to option D. In option D, we are given this polynomial 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube. Now, you cannot use the above result saying that, that the polynomial of this kind is irreducible. Now, here the P the number p is equal to 4 right and you all know 4 is not a prime number this is not a prime number therefore the polynomial is uh, we cannot uh, conclude from that result that this polynomial is irreducible so we have to look for another method to determine what type of polynomial is this one right so uh, the degree of this polynomial is 3 so we have a result saying that uh, the if you have a polynomial of degree 2 or degree 3 in that case if you found, found a root of that polynomial so you simply say that it is reducible and moreover this result is if and only if if the polynomial is reducible in that case you will definitely find a root over whatever field you are talking about and you will find the root in that field only right so if you found uh, a root you will say that the polynomial is reducible and if it is reducible it has a root therefore uh, our polynomial has degree 3 so we can apply this result so we can look for a root of this polynomial in the set of integers in the ring of integers right so you can how you can proceed you can just choose any arbitrary uh, integer and you can plug that into the, uh, this polynomial and whether uh, and just see that whether this is the root or not so now you clearly see that here if you put any negative number it might be zero because of this powers right so by guessing you might uh, know that minus one is a might be a root so just check it so yes is it is a root therefore x is equal to minus one is a root therefore we say that x plus 1 is a factor if we found, find a factor or a root we say that the polynomial is reducible over z therefore this option is incorrect because the polynomial is reducible over z so the correct options for uh, this uh, question they are the correct options are a b and c right well thank you for watching the video i'll see you in the next one